Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. It's an exciting start to the day here because I've just looked out of my bathroom window and look what I see. The stained glass window restorer is here, putting the last window back. This is going to be wonderful. I've had that white gap in the stained glass windows for months now. It's going to be amazing to see it all stained glass again. It's too exciting. I have to get dressed later. Let's run down and see what's happening. You two are here, but it's not your day. It's always my day. <laughs> Have you seen you? What's happening? I know. Cool, eh? Oh, she just spoke to me about yeah. um, she wants to borrow my services. You're trying to tell me that we need a digger to do a stained glass window. I'm just trying to show you how much of a good investment it was. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, basically the window at the back, which is over the little roof. <laughs> Bonjour. Um, the window at the back, which is over the little roof. Oh, the one in the sack. Uh, she the, can't access yeah, easily. Sack. She doesn't want to have to take all the tiles off and scaffold it. So oh, she yeah. was like, she was like, oh, can you lift me with a digger up so I can access it? Fantastic! So, yeah. Everything's happening in this house suddenly. Now we just need a chapel restorer. It's, I feel like it's since we got the digger oh, that you? more things are happening. Yeah, I feel it's since my cousin arrived. They were similar yeah, because my cousin's times, actually uh, filming as well. Multi-talented. <laughs> <laughs> Pot washer extraordinaire. Okay, I'm gonna go and see her. Yeah. See you later. Let's have a look inside. Natalie, who does the windows, is always a bit shy to be filmed, so I won't be filming her, but you can see that the plastic that was there has been taken out. Now it's just blue sky, but later today, hopefully, we should see that window in place, which means that the next one that she's asked Dan to help remove is this one over here. Now, who is he? Because I know that these have all been done, the Holy Family, Obviously, St. Cecilia and Aloysius, they've both been finished. So let's have a little look. Who do we have here? Sanctus, Cardius, and what is that? Nor? So it must be a sainted cardinal. I will look him up. Well, he's got the red cloak of a cardinal. This beautiful one has been done, which means after that, the only two remaining will be the rose window and St. Henry. And that's it. All of the windows will have been restored. And then the chapel restorer should arrive. He was supposed to come in August, but then someone in his family got very seriously sick in intensive care and he couldn't come again. He's really had the worst, worst time getting here. And he thinks maybe October, but there's been such a long wait, I really don't believe. He'll be here when he's here, that's, that's the way I see it. The money is set aside and we're good to go at our end and all the windows are getting finished in the meantime. I'll pop back later today and see if we can spot the new window in place. Today is a huge day for me because I have finally got my appointment to go and get my carte de séjour to prove that I can stay in France. So I'm really hoping everything goes okay. I have a stack of papers to take with me and of course, a little touch of patriotism on this great day, I am wearing the Eiffel Tower. What could possibly go wrong? We are on our way and just to complicate matters, we are going to hire a car on the way because today Philip is going to the Netherlands for rehearsals for a musical that he's going to be in, is it next year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so rehearsals are just starting there. So he's actually going to take this car because otherwise it costs a fortune in extra mileage and I'm going to use the rental car and go on to Chateau Roux and try and get this paperwork. We came to the local supermarket for me to get my passport photo 
passport photos are done. I'm just very disappointed because the Eiffel Tower didn't show on them. And now you're off to the Netherlands. I am. Have so much fun. Thank you. Wish me luck. Good luck. And have a really, really safe drive. Thank you. Bye. Bye, -bye. Apparently it is done. I am officially getting my carte de séjour. They're going to send it through the post, so I'll truly believe it when I finally receive it. But that's it. It was very painless. I had all the correct paperwork, which always seems an absolute miracle when in France. And I think the Eiffel Tower was working heavily in my favor. I'm gonna head back to the chateau now, but I think I'll go via La Chatte and see if I can pop into Bricolmarché and see if any of the paintings that we dropped off for framing are ready. Wow, the transformation of our local Brico is going really well. Look at that living wall. Really a big improvement on the building. It's looking so much better. Let's see if they've got the paintings. This is so great because they've got three ready. They haven't got Andy's yet, but look, they've got the two little chicken ones for the new chicken coop. So we're going to be able to finish the chicken coop with the correct decorations. And this beautiful watercolour that we received in Caddo at the Chateau has also been framed. It is so pretty. It looks amazing in that frame. It turns out that I had so many points on my Brico Marché card that all of this framing was free. I really do come to this place a lot. I'm going to drive home now, but whilst I'm doing that, I will show you footage of what Emilio has been getting up to. He has painted the primer on the chicken coop, so we're one step close to the stage where we can put these new chicken embroideries framed in their place. did a great job and I really can't wait to see the next colours going on to make it a really beautiful little house for the chickens. The day's brightening up a little bit now after a very grey start and that's lucky because tonight we're planning a little party for Selma and Tatiana to welcome them. A Russian costume party. We chose Russian because of Maria who's long been offering to make us a big Russian feast and we chose costumes because Tatiana and Selma arrived with glorious costumes so we want to see them in those and it's a perfect opportunity for us to celebrate Tatiana's arrival all together. Dan? Oh Dan! Hmm but where is he? Actually whilst we're here Let's go and see the primed chicken coop. But first I've spotted the pea chicks. Oh, they are adorable and so far so good. All four of them alive and well. Look at that, beautifully primed. We just need to finish the front and then paint a really pretty color on it, maybe with a little pattern as well. And of course, put the paintings up inside. What do you think of your new house, ladies? Oh, they all seem to be sunning themselves and enjoying their new area very much. I think Emilio's done a great job. I've walked into the kitchen and have discovered that Amory is apparently having a Pilates class with Fifi, really lovely guest of ours who's here for the week. I'm pretty sure we all want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Every single person here wants to watch Pilates. So, the band, yeah. Just another day at La Lande. This is um, so long and low. Yeah. I don't know about you lot, but I'm seeing a lot of panelling here. <laughs> so we put up. <laughs> a lot of panelling. But he's focusing more on that blue scarf. I know. It's a really good stretch. Jesus, it is. Yeah. Uh, How's it feeling, Amory? Feeling it. I thought I was flexible. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to leave you. I'm, I swear I live in a madhouse. <laughs> it's good for my hernias. It's a really good stretch, yeah. yeah. See you later. See ya. See ya. This household gets stranger every day. And you were just telling me that you've named a sheep after yeah. my cousin? I bought a new ram the other day and was looking for a name for him. And uh, we were sitting around having a coffee on Monday. And we came up with the name Ramery <laughs> after your cousin. Please meet Ramory. <laughs> Hi Ramory. He looks a bit scarier than my cousin. He looks a bit meaner. But he's young and full of muscle, so. <laughs> Ramory it is. Ramory. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> 
So tonight is yes. you cooking a Russian extravaganza. Exactly. Oh, yeah, well, really I thought it was just going to be a Russian dinner, but everyone keeps calling it a Russian feast. Yeah, feast, absolutely. So no pressure. <laughs> so we're having a, a pie with three different fillings, with yeah. chicken, mushroom, and cabbage, and there's going to be buckwheat pancakes in between mm. them. And then I'm making a beetroot salad, and we've got some, I'm making some slightly salted cucumbers, so... Um, there were di different herbs, um, and they're going to be somewhere in between pickles and fresh cucumbers, and they're my favourite. So. Oh, I love pickles. So, yeah. Okay, exciting. Yeah. Oh, cabbage. Yes, yeah, cabbage, um, which is kind of slow cooking with some milk. Mm. And now I put some creme fraiche, and I'm going to add some um, eggs. I love cabbage. Yeah. So we're off to a great start. Right, yeah. And I've done the dough for the rye bread. So hopefully there'll be some rye bread. Who are you coming as, more importantly? Cause I don't know. So Kat is very adamant that I should come as Catherine the Great. Yes, you should. But so, yeah, I've yes. said it several times. Yes. Queen yes. of Russia. Catherine Ooh. the Great. Sorry, oh. Empress. Sorry, Empress. Empress. Absolutely. Who are you going to be? Well, I don't know. I was trying to think of Russians. And I went with um, um, Tchaikovsky um, <laughs> or, or Shostakovich. I've been trying to think who I could be. This is not that easy for the rest of us, the famous Russian one. But when I was at Christie's, I was looking at this thing called a Monteith. That's, uh, I didn't know it was called a Monteith before I was looking at the listings. And it's this huge bowl with lots of little notches cut out in it, really beautiful. And these bowls were used to keep your glasses cool in between courses. In the past, when you didn't have lots of glasses, each person had one. So it would be filled with ice water, and you could put them when you'd finished that wine, waiting for the next wine, so the glass would be clean and cold, which I really like the idea of. And it had been owned by the Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna, which had the most fascinating life. Became a Swedish princess at the turn of the century, and really didn't get on with her prince at all. So went back to Russia just before the revolution and divorced from the Swedish prince, but luckily still had the paperwork with her. Then married somebody else in Russia, had a baby, and then decided she needed to get out of Russia because things were getting very difficult. Left her child behind, was planning to go back for her child or to send the child over, but made her escape without him. The poor baby actually died of illness while she was away and she didn't discover it till she got to freedom. She managed to get out only because she'd hidden the paper saying she'd been a royal Swedish princess in a bar of soap and was able to get out through the Ukraine. And her entire family were killed in Russia. But she yeah. made it to Paris and she became uh, somebody who made embroidered, fabulous embroidered fabrics that she sold to Coco Chanel. And then after that, she went to America and became a buyer for one of the huge department stores in New York and then moved to LA, had a, quite a glamorous life. Yeah. and. More importantly, this is 20th century, it's going to be easier to dress. A bit left field. Right. <laughs> no, no, it's a really good description. Better than Shostakovich or whatever I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm terrible. terrible. Stravinsky. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Coco cool, cool, Chanel. Firebird. No, you come, you come as a firebird. As a firebird. Oh, this is perfect. This is great. Firebird. Then we'd be hanging out because you're my friend's lover. You're Chanel's lover. Yeah, perfect. Ah, it's all coming together. Oh, I do. There you go. Right. Great. <laughs> right. Like that. Now, which saint? has rejoined us. Oh, he's looking great. Not the most cheerful of our saints, I feel. Which is quite ironic, because I think he's called Saint Felix. Doesn't Felix mean joyfulness, happiness? Hmm. Still, it is lovely to have you back, Felix. I'm going to turn the lights on in the chapel so that we can go outside and see how it looks from the exterior. We can just start to see the colours appearing, but it's not quite dark enough outside yet to make a difference. So I need to come back here after dinner. I'm going to leave that light on. You two are amazing. Look at that! You make such a good team! You are a great team. Yeah. Can we stop her from leaving? I've tried. We've all tried. Mm. You're a cracking apprentice. <laughs> the master and you. <laughs> but you know what's even more amazing is that not only is this room kind of, well, partly clear, let's face it, but you've started working without any of your equipment. Yeah. Can you show us? Okay. All so I know is that you've done a lot okay. of gluing. It's, it's there. <laughs> go on. Do you want me to pretend to explain it? Is yeah. It yeah, go on. Go on, apprentice. Hang on, I've got to get my Amory voice. 
So, Stephanie, well, the thing is, with these shutters, the important thing is that I'm trying to recreate what we already have. So, I've been carefully gluing... <laughs> yeah? Good. Yeah. Good. That was yeah, pretty yeah. good. Yeah, that I was didn't use good. the word router or... Mitre. Uh, or mitre or anything else no one understands. Okay, let's see uh, the man himself do it. Show us how it's done, Anne, right? Right, you mentioned in the uh, tower leading up to the tech room... Yes. Uh, there were some shutters and you want them to look the same. Yes. So I've tried to imitate them and uh, yeah. So we've got the rails. Which one is it? Is it one of these? Yes, one of these. I think. So we've got a little Morton tenon. Does it, does it go in there? Yeah, it goes in there. I think so. So we do put that in there. Wow. So that's our rail. And then in here, I'll do another groove for these to go into i've still got to do so what are these because it's i mean excuse me for not being able to tell what's yeah. going on here well they're going to be the panels to sit okay so there's you've got the bottom rail now the two mid rails and the header yeah and in there there's going to be three fixed panels and the rails are running at the same height as the rails on the windows so when you open them the rails aren't higher or lower they're in line with the existing window so it looks pleasing to the eye. So good. The apprentice is so much to learn. <laughs> but no, That's why she needs to stay. <laughs> no, it's just to make it like for like. So they're all three Morse and tenon jointed on the original. Yeah. Mm, so we do the yes. same. Did you get with that? The new three stuff. Three Morse and tenon. I don't it's this. Whatever, whatever he just said, it means this. <laughs> That's right, isn't it? Yeah. So the, instead of just butting them up and screwing them or doing yeah. whatever, you've got a joint. So. They'll be jointed and glued. And you did this without your workshop. So what yeah, did you use? Yeah, but this is, uh, use a chop saw, use chisels. So you use, had this at least. Yeah, use that, use a bit, use the uh, Ian loaned me his table saw and nice. painter and thicknesser. So just use the carving chisels and... Well, Spud your... is very impressed. The chickens are all... Yeah, they're nice. great company. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah brilliant, because brilliant they company. only know people to come in here if they're about to feed yeah, chicken. animals. So every time I walk out of here, they all come <laughs> sprinting over again. Food, 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 food. For me, food, right? Food. Right. This is what I'm working with. And this is what is supposed to look like a 1920s duchess. I've got some work to do. The food is not ready. The dining room is not set. <laughs> Everyone's running around like mad chickens trying to get ready. It's going so well. Okay, so I'm not much later than everyone else. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> everyone's on the same page. I've come running it's to It's amazing, you. actually. Um, does it look good with the trainers? Yes, it does. So you're the firebird. So I'm Stravinsky's firebird. Fantastic. I just need a golden egg. And a lot of red lipstick. And a lot of red lipstick. And ideally some enormous gold earrings. And I thought okay. I'd come to you Let's as see proprietor of those um, things. Thank you for the earrings. Oh, they fabulous. very much, I'm thinking sparks, flames, nice. that sort of thing. I like it. I'm going to try some red lip stain if okay. that's okay. Good luck. Um, and I have put a shoe in your sink and I'm terribly sorry for it. As you can <laughs> tell, the theme of the evening is panic. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. No, that's... That suits me. Down to a tea. Right, I'm going to go and do my makeup. Yes, I definitely can't do lipstick on camera. <laughs> I was say, come and show me when you've done it. Okay. How do I turn this into a 1920s bob? <laughs> What do you think of this? Mm. It's not on my teeth, is it? No, it's not. It's good. Isn't it in the camera on, or in the mirror? I'm doing it in the camera. That's so impressive. Well, it's easier actually because it's in front of the mirror, so I can't see <laughs> the mirror. That's true. Okie dokie. I'm going to go and lay a table. Okay, fantastic. I will see you in a sec. How's the back? Pretty phenomenal, actually. That's nice. Hang on. There's one yeah. sticky outy one. Is that it now? This is even more impressive. You're still doing it in the camera without facing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smashed it. Thanks. Thank you, Doki. Right, now I just need my little thing. Oh, I better get the jumper off before I do that. Because I... Mm, ah, yeah, see what I've done there? Yes. Jumper's off. So now I can put the tiara on. This fabulous tiara. Perfect for a duchess. Obviously, she had hers made in Cartier in Paris. And it's all real diamonds, obviously. I think that my skill level plus the amount of time that I have equals this. I don't think I'm going to get it any better at this point. Oh, maybe just get that out of my eye. Like cat, I'm feeling red lipstick is very important for this. But first, let's go and get the dress.
I've chosen this fabulous sparkly number, which I bought in a secondhand shop in Venice many, many years ago. It's perfect for a duchess in the 20s, surely. She probably bought it after selling one of her jewels. And I think it has to be silver shoes. Oh, but which ones? Those? Or these? I think this is the better match. Right. Now, I just need red lips, thinking the silent stars of the day. That's the lipstick done. Now, I think that I need a lot of jewels because if there's something that they didn't do by halves at the turn of the century in Russia, it was jewellery. And then also held in unusual ways. So I'm thinking maybe a brooch on either side. I think that this is going to have to do. <laughs> So I'm going to run downstairs and join the others. So this is the final look with the shoes, ready to do some flapper dancing. And it's a huge pity because Philip isn't here tonight, so he's not going to be able to dance. My liege? Oh, that's the best view ever. Firebirds are awesome. Thank Thanks. you. Should we go down to the party yes. together? Emilio, whoa, you scrub up well. It's a suit I've seen before. It's hard to know which Russian it is. I am um, Lenin. Lenin? Did he, wear, did he wear a lot of evening wear like this? He was buried in a relatively similar suit. Oh, are you serious? I know that he's sort of embalmed. Um, is he still on display? He is, but it's controversial. Oh, okay, so he's wearing something like that. <laughs> well, wow. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I have to cut. Sarina! Catherine. <laughs> Can I call you Catherine? Of course. You look yes. amazing. Is it not like Sarina? I'm Sarina. Teresa. 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 We will. Yeah. From now on or just tonight? Just tonight. <laughs> the guests of honour. You look amazing, both of you. <laughs> yeah, you really do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in shock. Has anyone ever seen Dan the Gardener like this before? <laughs> it's did, what I normally wear. Just did anyone know it. Dan the Gardener owned this? <laughs> <laughs> it's Dan the Gardener. Is it? Is it Dan is it the Gardener? Oh, Are we sure? I, I can't be certain. Continue your rounds. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this not Daniel Preston? <laughs> oh, Daniel Preston. I've heard of him, but I've never met him. <laughs> Hello, well, Daniel he's Preston. Himself again. <laughs> Welcome to La Land. Hi. I feel like a magician. <laughs> okay. But he's uh, dressed up, so I thought I'd put the uh, abracadabra cloak on. Are you Rasputin? No. What did Maria say? <laughs> I don't recall. <laughs> and oh my goodness, I just turned around and saw Natty. <laughs> Natty, you look stunning, but absolutely. With your, with your dress, your tiara, and your. <laughs> Oh, it looks prettier on you. Honestly, do a spin. That looks so much better on you. You look amazing. <gasps> Did you do this? Yeah. Maria, pie artistry. No. Pie artistry. But that's stunning. Right. Ooh, almost beautiful. Not okay. just a beautiful Catherine the Great. <laughs> I'm amazed. Honestly, I'm I know. Amazed. So am I. This is a nice workout. This is a good sight. This is a really good sight. <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to stand here like... Yes. Yeah. Where's the robe? Yeah, where's, where's the robe? Oh, why is the shirt on? Oh, well, yeah. In Russia, there is no universal yeah. cheers. You have to make a toast every time you want to yeah. cheers. So you can usually drink to something. Okay. So you can drink to friendship, to meeting, uh, once again, or for the first time, you can drink to health, or you can drink to special occasions, like today. So we can we can drink to your birthday. So, za день рождения. But the book was actually smoking. Yeah. That's very yeah. nice. Drinking. Tell yeah. us about your rules. <laughs> yeah, my only rule <laughs> in life is that vodka <laughs> must be drank, drunk straight from the freezer. Never warm over ice. And Especially if you're serving it to friends. And where's the caviar? What about if you're serving it to enemies? Mm. <laughs> then it doesn't really matter. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> then it's not vodka. <laughs> okay. Traditionally, you start with zakuski, so cold starters. Um, and you have some horseradish dip. There's some slightly salted cucumbers. Mm. Um, some rye bread. Happy birthday. <laughs> and may I propose a second toast? A huge welcome to Tatiana. I'm so happy that you and Selma have found happiness together. It's a real fairy tale that is living in this very house with us. So welcome.
Добро пожаловать. Добро пожаловать. Добро пожаловать. You make the horse radish. Yeah, so Kirsty brought me a lovely parcel. It was wrapped in a big leaf and tied with some grass. This is our horse radish from the garden. Yes, this is our horse radish from the garden with some mayo and some vinegar and salt. Maria, you're fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I would say you grew this, but mummy did. I kept it alive. You did. Well done for that. Kind of keeps know. itself alive. <laughs> for the purposes of the vlog. Why did you do that? Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. So we've got the chicken, the cabbage and the mushroom. That looks beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. That and the pie. <laughs> How do you do it? With a lot of panicking. And there was encouragement from cats. I didn't see any panicking <laughs> at all today. Let's be clear. Okay, how are we going to sing this? Happy birthday and welcome to, to you because this is a birthday party and a welcome party. Let's do it. We've had to invent a new song for tonight, a song that I'd like to teach to you all. Okay. Uh, because it's a birthday party and a welcome party, it goes, Happy birthday and welcome to you. Happy birthday and welcome to you. Happy birthday, dear lovely people. Happy birthday and welcome to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why, <laughs> The award is this actual wines one is the second like best it. sparkling wine in the UK. Oh, so I didn't wow. know what the first, but it's the second. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You are so talented. I brought this uh, dubious um, cherry flower. We always buy lots of um, Russian products when we go with my parents. And so we bought this flower. It's a um, sort of Siberian, I believe, or northern uh, Russian berry. And it's usually dried and then milled into a little flour. And then you use it as part of the flour for cakes and other desserts. And we have that in this? Yes. And so this is this is it. And it usually it tastes a little bit like cherry or blackcurrant with a bit of chocolate. It has this very interesting flavor. So I thought so it'd be exciting. nice to... I'd just like to say, well done, Maria. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday and welcome. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Well, it's last thing at night, just before I go to bed, and Amelia and I have come out to have a look. Look at that. Okay, there's still scaffolding in front of it. It's so beautiful in the garden now. Before, when we put the lights on, there was just this one blank one in the middle. That's gorgeous. What do you think, Amelia? This is beautiful. Who is it? St. Felix. Good night from La Land, everyone. A huge thank you to all of our patrons who make this vlog possible and the Dauphins and Dauphines of Laland, Yadeland, Ether, Alice Allen, Dan Banda, Wailing Banshee, Brian Barnard, Brandon and John, Michael, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Danelle Benakovic, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalakani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Steve and Sarah Cole, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Jimmy Connolly, Zoe Dorks, Sylvia Dem, Jim Demersman and Richard Patton Nord, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jason W, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furster, Kevin Fossum, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delaine Hallbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Camilla Herrera, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hoob, Lissandra Hawley, Melissa Jansen, Brian Kelsey and Phil Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Angel Leonard, Victoria Lapine, Janet Huff Lombard, Marina Frank Martin, Grant and Erin McLoon, Meredith, Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Karen Nicholson, Kathy Nori, Maureen Palmer, Ellen Person, Wendy Piatek, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Rebecca Shorrock, Carla and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Nanette Solverson, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Monty Stipora, Sabrina Surratt, and the Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troy, Renee Vallelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Wiest, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Copa Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordonazzo.